Okay, this how-to video is just going to show you some of the basic operations inside the 3D canvas uh, for the Cadence PCB tools. So I've got some basic operations. I can pan around the screen by holding the middle mouse wheel down and just uh, panning around. If I use the shift key and the middle mouse button or the, the, mouse, the, wheel, the wheel, I can then also spin. And then if I uh, just use the middle mouse wheel on its own as a scroll, I can actually just scroll in and out to zoom. Um, there's some really useful functions available from the right click. So I've got right click and I can do things like bend, which is there'll be another video going through this in a bit more detail. I can do a cutting plane. So let's enable the cutting plane. This allows you to effectively um, cut the, the model in half, take a section, work your way through. And you've got different uh, axes. So we can go in the, in the Y axis or the, the Z axis or the X axis. So let's go back to the X axis and bring this on. So in this scenario, what I want to do is I want to have a look. I've got a, a little bulge in my cover to clear a transistor. So let's just go to the view camera, maybe go on to the left side. We'll zoom in here a little bit just to get a little bit closer to it. And if I actually take the cutting plane back, I can actually get a really good visualization of my transistor and the amount of clearance that I have. Let's just zoom in there. So you can see there's my transistor model. There's the clearance that I've got. But while I'm here, I can also look at kind of buyers and clearances and things like that. So the, the cutting plane is a really useful design feature. Um, I can also do some measuring. So let's do a right click done and then we'll do a right click measure closest distance. So I want to, want to effectively measure from uh, the closest distance from this object to this object. And it will then give me the closest distance this location here. We'll do a done. Let's do a, a measure uh, path. So if I wanted from a surface, maybe I wanted to go from this top surface to the top surface of here, it will give me effectively the dimension and the distance surface wise. So there's some really useful measuring functions. The visibility pane um, gives me full control so I can obviously turn all the symbols off. And then if we go to the visibility pane, I can start to turn layers off by layer so I can maybe turn all the layers off. Maybe I just want to effectively look at the bottom with the bottom dielectric. Let's just scroll this round so you can actually start to see the copper. Maybe I want to put the solder mask on that layer. Maybe I want to just put the silk screen on that layer. So you can you can start to inspect layer by layer very, very carefully by using this visibility pane. And it gives you almost like a full feedback. So you can peel back all the layers and then turn all the layers one by one to actually physically see what's going on inside your PCB um, from a 3D functionality point of view, which I think is a really, really useful feature. 